You're still in there? How long does it take to pluck that unibrow? Leave me alone! Danielle, I have to be at work in ten minutes. Now, can I please just come in and brush my teeth? I'm having a really bad day, all right? Just go away! I'm gonna have a really bad day, too. I tend not to get tipped when my breath stinks. I'm pregnant. Are you sure? Yes. I peed on five different sticks. Would you put that burrito away? It's making me nauseous. Join the club. Look, I, I know your parents are religious, but I know this clinic. Absolutely not. So what other choice do we have? Well, gee, you could, like, uh, marry me? Marry you? I can't stand you. Oh, nice way to talk to the mother of your child. Oh, God. Bathroom. <laughs> Julie! Hi! Uh, hey. Your door was open. Can I come in? Uh, what are you doing here? I read your letter. I had no idea it would be so sweet. I could really tell it came from your heart. I'm embarrassed to admit I cried. I, uh, my Anita sort of tied one on last night. Oh. Anyway, I, I guess what I'm saying is, okay. Okay. Uh, we can try again. Julie, that's great. And I want to talk about this, uh, but I just kind of need to take care of my aunt. Can I call you tomorrow? Sure. <sighs> oh. We're going to have to take things slow, because it'll be a while before I can trust you again. I understand. I'm off to join your mother. The hotel number's on the fridge in case there's a problem. Bree said her cell phone isn't getting good reception. Uh, actually, we, we kind of already have a problem. Well, I'm already late for my flight. Can this wait a few weeks till we're back? Yeah, it's good. Wait a few weeks. Oh, good. I mean, heck, this particular problem could wait nine months. Good Lord. All right, here's what we're thinking. Clearly, the idea of the two of you getting married is ridiculous. So, what do you want me to do? Glad you asked. Bree and I have decided that Danielle will join us on our honeymoon. When we return, we'll tell our friends she's decided to study abroad. Once the baby is born and adopted by a suitable family, she'll come home. What about me? You leave. Leave? Get out of Fairview and don't tell a soul why. Not even your aunt. I can't do that. Why not? Because I've got responsibilities here. People are counting on me. Yeah, well, you should have thought of that before you impregnated my stepdaughter. I said I'm not leaving. Oh, easy there, Turbo. Uh, we'll be right back. So who exactly is counting on you? Hmm? Julie Meyer, maybe? She gave me another chance. I can't leave if I've still got a shot with her. And what's gonna happen when Julie finds out you knocked up my sister? Didn't your stepdad just say no one's going to find out about that? Okay. Try this. Julie's a nice girl. And you, well, you're a dog. No knock. I'm a dog lover myself. Julie deserves better. You know you'll just end up cheating on her. No, I won't hurt her again. Sure you will. Not right away. Maybe we'll hold out for six months. But then it'll hurt her even more. Am I wrong? <laughs> you just have to ask yourself if you can be the kind of guy she needs you to be. If you can't, walk away. never hold her in my arms again.